All right, so I'm going to go ahead and build this TV right here. Start to build this TV. This is the first video in the series. I'm going to try to build this the screen area here with this edge detail that's in this. In my viewport here, I've built a basic rectangular box. I've built it so that it's wider than it is taller. And I made it about as tall as it is wide. And I'm going to switch over here to the Modify tab, name it TV Case. And I'm going to tweak some of the, the parameters here. For instance, I said I wanted to make it about as wide as it is tall. So if I made it 25 in length and 25 in height and 35 in width, I'm going to have nice numbers, numbers that work good for me here. It's definitely as deep as it is tall. All right. So important here is I get this set it up, setting this up. You see the little bounding box that appears there? They call that the cage. I could turn the cage off by pressing the J key. The J key turns that cage on and off. I want to turn that cage off because it gets in the way of me seeing what I want to do. Also, my default shading. I don't want default shading. I want edged faces. And I'm also going to put clay on it so that it's got that clay look. So got this first little bit set up right here. Now that I've got my parameters basically set, I'm going to right click it and turn it into an editable poly. The box is gone. The box is gone. I right clicked it. I turned it into an editable poly. And I'm going to go ahead and get on the polygons and pick that polygon at the very front. Just the one polygon on the very front. And I'm going to use a tool called inset. Inset is right over here in the edit polygons. And I'm going to click on the menu and it's showing me what this inset's going to start to look like. And then I want to refer back to my, my reference image here. And I want to look at this and think about it. And I think that that's, that's going to be okay. That's an okay inset. I'll just take the one centimeter that that was the default that it gave me. And I'm going to click the green check mark. And I've got my first inset. Now, notice when it did this, it basically shrunk that polygon, didn't it? It shrunk the polygon in all four axes. It put new edges in at each of the corners to the polygon, which means we've got four new polygons that are surrounding this. And can you see how, how in my mind, I'm imagining that that's going to be that, that little front edge of the, of the TV? So now I've got this little face, but now from here, it pushes in. It pushes in from there. So I want to push in from this point, you know, and I could just grab this and push it in, but that's, that's not going to do what I want it to do because then I'll lose the face. But what I can do with that same polygon selected, um, I'm going to do a bevel. So now when I do this bevel, when I click the bevel menu, the bevel settings, it does this thing where it's like pushing the whole front out. We did bevel in um, the sword project. Like the kid in the sword project did, I zero out the tool. And then I want to bevel into the TV. And I want to just give it a slight... Yeah, that's beveling out, that's beveling in. It's like a negative, a negative 0.4, negative one's too much. Yeah, so like a negative 0 0.6 on the bevel height and a negative 0 0.4 on the bevel outline. So bevel height, negative 0 0.6, bevel outline, negative 0 0.4. And I'll click the little plus check mark and take a look at what I've done. I deselect that. I can see where I've pushed in 
the face of this thing, not the face pushed in. Take a look at it from all sides, make sure I didn't break anything in the back. And I'll go back to my reference image and decide my next move. All right. For this next move, I want to, so I've got that first one coming in, but now, hmm, am I going to have to go back a step? I sure am. Back to the basic box. There we go. I'm back to the basic box. All right. Backed out all the way. If I look at the reference image and pay careful attention to it, notice that this, this part that pushes in over on this corner, it's right here, but over here it pushes in. This level, this surface right here, it's the same height as all these other surfaces. These parts are sticking out of the front face. So I actually need to, I'm gonna select the edges, top and bottom. So on the front face here, I selected the top edge and the bottom edge, just on the front face. And I'm gonna just click the connect button once. Clicking the connect button once puts in an edge right down the middle. See that edge right down the middle? And then I'm gonna grab that edge and move it over here. And I'm gonna separate this into two parts. One part over there where I'm gonna put the control panel and one part over here where I'm gonna make the screen of the TV. And that way I can model the individual components separately. So that's going to be the area where I'll do the control panel over here is where I'm going to do the, the TV screen. So with this polygon selected, that's the one I am going to do that inset on. And maybe one is too much. Maybe I'll go 0.75. There we go. A little bit nicer, a little bit thinner. So I gave it a 0.75 inset. Then I'm going to use the bevel settings and zero them out. And I'll use those same numbers that I had before, negative 0.5 for the bevel height, negative 0.4 for the bevel outline, all right. So now I've got that bevel there. Let me look back at my reference image. All right. I'm going to accept that. Then with that, still with that same polygon selected, I'm going to click on the inset menu. And I want this to be a very small inset, like 0.2. Just a small inset of 0.2. Click the checkbox on that after that small inset of 0.2. That's creating this little area right here that's coming in to where now I'm going to be angling this next bit up. So I'll do another inset. And this inset, I'm going to make it like a point four, maybe a point three. Yeah, point three. Okay, good. And I'm not just going to do one, I'm going to do two. So I'll click the little plus symbol right here. That does two of them at 0.3. And then I'll click the checkbox. And I'm going to switch to edges. I want the four edges. That's one set of edges in on this. So I've got those four edges selected, and I'm going to grab them in Y and pull them up. 
and I get that I get that shape there. And you see that shape coming out? It's flat, drops in, comes over, then comes up to a peak. And it'll become more obvious when I apply some materials to this and paint them different colors. Because as you can see in the picture here, they are different colors. You know, this is brown. This little small strip back here is like black. And then all this right here is gold. I'm going to switch to polygons now. And I'm back on this polygon right here that's in the front. And I'm going to scale this polygon in some. Just get the scale tool and scale it in X and Z. Just in X and Z. Scaling it in. Nice. So it drops down a little bit more. This drop down is a little more. Okay. And now I'm down to the screen. I'm down to where now I would like to try to create the screen. And this is where some of the magic comes in to this. I, I really dig how this next little bit's going to work. So for my screen, I'm going to do one more inset and turn off that scale tool so it's not in the middle right there. Yeah, and instead of about 0.3, I'll be fine. Inset of 0.3 is going to be fine. I'll click OK on that. Then I'm going to switch to edges. And I want to get all four of the edges of that inner inset. And I got all four of those edges. I'll get the move tool and I'm going to pull that whole thing out. So I pulled that whole thing out. I pulled it out quite a bit. And I'm going to switch to the polygon and scale this a little bit too. Oops, scale in the wrong direction. Oops, scaling. I want to scale right from the middle. I want to scale everything. There we go. Scaling that in. All right. Switch back to edges. Now I'm going to show you guys this cool tool. It's called Camfer. Camfer makes edges round. When I click that, you notice how this whole thing kind of rounded out right there? And I'm going to turn my segments up to like four segments. And the camfer distance Hmm. I want to shrink this polygon on the front just a little more. That's a lot more, isn't it? Switch back to edges. Click camfer, the men camfer menu. And now I can run this camfer out. There we go. Yeah, that's nice. That's got me what looks like a rounded television screen, doesn't it? I'm going to click the check mark, be happy with that. And um, I'm going to do a save. I'll go file, save. Right now it's untitled. And Alvarez, my folder called Classic TV One for you guys. Sixth block TV four. Open that up, and it's going to be sixth block TV four underbar. Zero one. I'll click save, save my file, and uh, I'll be ready for stage two in a little bit. But for now, I'm going to stop this first video.